Hey guys, what's up? So once again, mp4podcast.com. Today we're taking a look at the different displays that are in your smartphones and mp3 players. Right here we have the Droid Incredible. Uh, this uses the Samsung AMOLED display. Over here we have um, the iPod Touch with the Retina display, and here we have the iPhone 3GS. Now out of all of them, I would say the AMOLED display has the best color, most populous. Browns are very nice. Uh, Cindy Crockett's here. And it has very nice highlights in the browns. Her skin tone looks very poppy and, and uh, saturated. Um, here it looks a little bit, um, I want to say light brown or, you know, with white highlights. Here it looks very, very white. I want to just show you one more thing, a couple more things. We'll go to Google. And we will go to Google. And we will go to Google. Here we have, the once again, the HT Droid Incredible. And the white background on Google's homepage has a blue tint. Uh, John for Lakers and Phone Dog um, have both, both said this, that the AMOLED uh, displays do have a little bit of a bluish tint. Here we have a little bit of a grayish white, and this one looks the whitest of the whites. <clears throat> if you do turn down the brightness on the iPhone 3GS, it kind of looks a little bit like the whites from the um, Retina display on the iPhone or iPod Touch. What we're going to do is, we're going to look at this game right here. Jet Stunt Rate um, Cars, whatever it's called. Actually, I'm going to do, be doing a review on this game pretty soon. And we're going to go play. And go start. And let me just bring this up to Sorry about this. Okay. Resume it, resume it. Here we have the HG Droid, um, Droid Incredible. The colors on this are beautiful. Here we have extremely poppy blues. I actually prefer the whitish bluish right here. It just has a very nice uh, color saturation to it. And let me just pull up. Um, try to get this right here. All right. All right. So here we have the. Um, the iPod Touch. Now the colors on the iPod Touch are better than the iPhone 3GS. The reds are a little bit more nicer. Um, let me just try to go right here so I can get the cars in the same exact lighting. The red right here is very, very saturated. Here, you know, you can, it look it's a little bit le um, less saturated. It's actually it's a lot less saturated. It's a little bit. Um, you can see a little bit more detail over here. Here it seems a little bit too oversaturated. But overall, I still probably like the AMOLED display better than the Retina display. Um, the blacks are very black right here. If you look at the exhaust pipe, the car, the wheels, um, the yellows, the reds, everything that you can see here is much more vibrant and poppy on the AMOLED display than the Retina display or whatever the iPhone 3GS uses. Um, now I'm not saying the AMOLED display is the most accurate in uh, color uh, reproduction, however I think it's probably the most beautiful out of all the displays. I mean it is a little bit of a personal choice. I do know people who do like to watch movies and they like their movies to look the same colors that they see in the movie theater and usually when you have a projector and you project it on a blue screen it kind of has a bluish tint to it. Um, it the Sony uh, TV that I reviewed in my previous video has a standard color mode and it has a vivid um, so I would probably say vivid is like the uh, retina display and uh, I'm sorry <coughs> the standard colors on the Sony are kind of like the uh, retina display on the iPhone or iPod touch with the vivid colors on the Sony, and my 32-inch Bravio is kind of similar to um, the Samsung AMOLED display that's in the HTC Pro. Now, the AMOLED display is only available from Samsung phones in the HTC Jordan Crubble. They actually just bought uh, the AMOLED display from Samsung and put it in their own devices. <coughs> 
Now I do want to point out if you are a gamer, you probably want to wait until the next uh, Samsung phones. Samsung just moved into the Android market and the, their phones are not going to be updated to 2.3 firmware. There's some type of problem with design flaw in the GPS and Samsung is pretty much not going to be updating it. They have updated um, their f uh, phones with some of their own custom updates, but it's not an the Android updates. So if you're into, into gaming, um, you probably may want to wait for the next Samsung. Oh, look at the LG uh, uh, phones. I'm sorry about the phone ringing. Um, look at uh, the, the LG uh, dual core that's using the NVIDIA chipset. However, you may still want to go with the Samsung uh, screen. Um, over the LG, even if it is single core, because it'll probably it's probably going to still be gaming on it for two years, because the Power VR chip that's in the Samsung is more powerful than the iPhone, um, and you know what they did with Infinity Blade. So anyway, guys, I kind of like this display, and this will probably be uh, for some gaming. I'll probably do, be using um, the HT Jordan Crab. I do want to point out <coughs> the Snapdragon. Uh, CPU in here. It's a good CPU. It's not the best in the world. Uh, the OMAD chip is a little bit better. I believe the Hummingbird chip is better. But uh, for regular use, the Snapdragon is good. However, the GPU is a little bit on the weak side. I will say it can do very good graphics when done right. However, it's not going to be doing anything that the Hummingbird can do, or um, I mean the Power VR that's in the Hummingbird or in the Apple chip or the NVIDIA chipset. <clears throat> so maybe if you're a gamer, uh, wait, uh, and you are an Android user, uh, wait for uh, the next HTC, uh, HT Droid Incredible, whatever, and see if they go with a different chipset or wait until the new Samsungs. For iPhone users, I would probably, if you're into gaming uh, very strongly, I'm kind of interested if we're going to have a new iPhone uh, Five in June, and maybe some, uh, maybe a different, maybe we'll get the um, AMOLED display from Samsung. From what I heard, the reason why Apple did not go with the AMOLED display because uh, Samsung could not produce enough. They were produce, producing them for the, um, you know, the, their Galaxy uh, lines, which uh, you know, Verizon just got theirs um, a couple of months ago. Um, T-Mobile, uh, AT&T. Um, Sprint and everybody else, so they were pretty busy, and plus um, they were producing they're producing them for the HTC Droid Incredible. So, and also Samsung sold, uh, I believe, ten thousand Galaxy so far, or something like that. So anyway, guys, uh, keep on gaming, and uh, let me know um, what phones you like, uh, what games you like. Leave a comment below, whatever. Um, but I'm really impressed with the AMOLED display. It's a really a beautiful display, and even though some may not get every single color right, uh, overall I think it's kind of the best and I enjoy it the most really. So once again guys, it's been mp4podcast.com and if this video has helped you, please hit the subscribe button, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment if you wish, uh, I'll be more than uh, happy to help you out, uh, favorite this video, if you could just help me out a little bit more, whatever. So once again guys, mp4podcast.com and subscribe, really, I need subscribers, please. Take care, guys. Later. Bye.